Welcome to Amir's Math School. In this video, I am going to discuss about a very interesting topics. That is the circumcenter, circumcircle, and the circumradius. The main point of discussion is the length of three sides of any triangle are given. We are going to find the circumradius of that triangle. We find the circumradius in two different ways. That is, first one is using the perimeter and the area that is the area of the triangle and the we find that area of triangle using perimeter of the triangle and the second one is using the Brahmagupta's theorem in this theorem we relate the circumradius the side length and the height of triangle let's consider any triangle that is the triangle is a b c by default the opposite of this a the length of side we consider this one is a and opposite of b we consider the length of side ac which is b and opposite of this c the length ab which we consider that as c to find the area of this triangle we have to follow some steps so find the area of the triangle the steps are first find the perimeter that is the we know the perimeter is the, the sum of the length of sides of any triangle. So if we consider the perimeter as 2s, then a plus b plus c, the length of three sides of triangle gives the value of this perimeter. And then calculate the half perimeter, that is half of this 2s, that is s, that is a plus b plus c divided by 2, that is half of the sum of three sides of any triangle. In that case, the area of the triangle will be square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c that is this value gives the area of the triangle this triangle we can apply this formula for any type of triangle where three side are given if three side of any triangle are given we can easily apply this formula to get the value of the area of the triangle if we substitute the value of s here, that is a plus b plus c divided by 2 here, 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 also here, in that case, we will get another formula. That is, that formula which involving only a, b, and c, that is the side length of that triangle. In that case, the formula will, will be the area of triangle is 1 fourth square root of 2a square b square plus 2b square c square plus 2c square a square minus a to the power 4 minus b to the power 4 minus c to the power 4. This value also give the area of the triangle. So in this way, when three sides of any triangle are given, we can easily find the area of the triangle using either this formula or this one. Next. What is the circumradius? In this video, we are going to find the circumradius. So, first, let's start the discussion about circumradius starting with circumcenter. What is circumcenter of any triangle? The intersecting point of perpendicular drawn on the midpoint of three sides of any triangle is called the circumcenter. That is, this one is the triangle ABC and the three midpoint of three sides. This one is the first one, second one, and third one. If we draw three perpendicular on this three point, that is first one, second one, and third one, this intersecting point is the circumcenter of that triangle. So this point, yellow point, indicating the circumcenter of this triangle ABC. Now, what is the circumcircle? The circumcircle is a circle which passes through the three vertex of any triangle. So this yellow circle indicating the circumcircle of triangle ABC. The distance from this circumcenter to the vertex, that is to the three vertex, gives the value of circumradius. So this yellow point to this A, this length indicating the circumradius. This one is the first one, second one and the third one. The distance from the circumcenter to any vertex is the circumradius. For any triangle, we are going to find this length, that is the value of circumradius. Now, let's come to the main point, that is find the circumradius. The steps are, first find the area of the triangle, that is the area of the triangle is equal to ABC divided by 4R. This is our formula. 
that is the area of the triangle equal to ABC divided by 4R where A, B and C are the length of three sides of any triangle and this R is the circumradius of that triangle, circumradius of that triangle. So here in this figure you see this A, B, C are three sides and this point is circumcenter. From circumcenter to the vertex, this distance are called circumradius. So this one is R, this one is R, also this one is R. So using this formula, we can write 4R into del, where this del represents the area of triangle equal to ABC, where R equal to ABC into 4 into the area of the triangle. So this is our working formula, that is circumradius R is equal to ABC divided by 4 into area of that triangle. Let's see one example, that is find the circumradius of triangle with side length 4, 6 and 8 unit. That is for any triangle ABC where the side lengths are 4 unit, 6 unit and 8 unit, find the circumradius of that triangle. So according to step, first step will be we have to find the area of that triangle. To find the area, first consider the first length, this A is 8 and this B is 6 and C is 4. So the perimeter that is 2 is equal to 4 plus 6 plus 8. That is sum of these three lengths, 4 plus 6 plus 8, which is equal to 18. And the half perimeter is 18 divided by 2, which is equal to 9. So we get the value of S, that is S equal to 9. Now, according to the formula of the area of triangle, that is, this area of triangle is equal to S, that is 9 into 9 minus A, that is 8, 9 minus B, that is 6, and 9 minus C, that is 9 minus 4, which gives the value 9 into 1 into 3 into 5, that is, the square root of 135. This is our area of triangle. That is the area of this triangle ABC where the side length are 4, 6 and 8 unit is one square root of 135 square unit. Now the second step that is step 2 that is apply the formula of circumradius that is the circumradius R is equal to ABC divided by 4 into area of the triangle. Now substitute the value of A, B and C. For A, we will uh, substitute the value 8. For B, we substitute 6. And for C, we substitute 4. And then 4 into area of the triangle is the square root of 135. This 4 and 4 is cancelled. So we get 48 divided by square root of 135, which is approximately equal to 4.13 unit. So we get the value of circumradius, this R. This R is approximately 4.13. In this way, we can find the value of circumradius of any triangle where the length of three sides of a, that triangle is given. Now, let's try to find the circumradius in different way. In both the way or in, in both the case, we need the area of triangle, but the formula is little bit different. We now use the theorem of Brahmagupta to find the circumradius of this triangle ABC where the length of side is given 4, 6 and 8. Earlier we find the area of this triangle. So both the case we need the area of triangle. So we know the area of triangle is the square root of 135. We just find it in previously. In case of Brahmagupta theorem, we need this height of this triangle. We need the height of triangle this will follow. So we know the area of the triangle is half time the, the base time height. That is for this triangle, if we consider this perpendicular from A to the base BC as a height, in that case, the area of this triangle will be half into this BC, that is the length A into this height A. That is, the area of triangle is half into A into A. From here, we can easily find the value of A. That is, A is equal to 2 into area of the triangle divided by A. That is 2 into area of the triangle is square root of 135. So 2 into square root of 135 divided by the value of A, that is 8. We already consider this A as 8. So the value of height, that is A is equal to square root of 135 divided by 4. Now in the step 2, just apply the theorem of Brahmagupta. The statement of this Brahmagupta theorem is, in any triangle, the area of the rectangle included by any two sides is equal to the area of the rectangle included by the diameter of circumcircle and the perpendicular drawn from the initial point of two sides on the opposite side.
that is if we uh, consider the area of rectangle included by these two length b c then the area will be b into c this one is equal to the area of the rectangle in included by the diameter of circum circle that is 2 into circum radius which gives the value of diameter of circum circle and the perpendicular drawn from the initial point of two side that is from this point a to the opposite side this height this point is the initial point of two side that is c and b so b into c equal to 2 into r that is 2 into the circum radius which gives the value of diameter of circum circle this is is the perpendicular from the initial point of these two side to the opposite side that is bc this one which is the we can call the height of this triangle according to this brahmagupta theorem we can easily find the value of r from here that is r equal to b times c divided by 2 h now we can easily find the value of r by substituting the value of b c and a b equal to 6 and c equal to 4 and 2 into the value of a c is the square root of 135 divided by 4 which is equal to 48 divided by square root of 135 which is approximately equal to 4.13 mm which is the value of circum radius of this triangle a b c where the side length are given that is 4 6 and 8 